Hello and welcome back to another Django tutorial. So within Django, there are a number of built-in expressions that can be used to help write queries. So they can offer great performance benefits as well as support and enable more complex computations. So here in this session, we look at understanding the F query expression. Okay, so let's take a look at a typical query example. Here we have votes and a votes model, and we utilize get to extract a single item from a database where the ID equals one. So we then go ahead and we increment the, the votes by one, and then we save the votes. So here we're creating a query with two queries or the cost of two in that we're utilizing get and save. So what's happening here is that we're getting data from the database and we're putting that into the memory and then we're performing the operation and then we're running a query then to save the data. So this type of increment could be quite a, a popular and well used type of feature within your application. And of course, once you start scaling this up, this can be quite costly having all these query operations on your database. So let's first have a look at how we can implement the F expression into this simple example. So an F object represents the value of a model field or annotated column. So here, first of all, before utilizing the F expressions, we need to import it in from the models. So we do that by using from Django DB models import F. Now you can see from the example in green, the item that is changed. So here it represents the value of the model. So vote.totalVote equals, and then the value. So here we have the F expression and it's wrapped in the actual table field. And then we have the increment at the end. So the point and the key difference here is that the actual operation of incrementing is done on the database side. So Python doesn't actually get to see this or perform this operation on the, I say front end. So everything is done on the back end. All this operation utilizing the F expression is completed within the database. Or should I say the actual computation is completed by the database. So let's just provide some clarity here. So we have to put the value of votes, total votes in memory to then perform the operation and then to save it back in the database. So this is an example of a of the typical query that we might run. So just to reiterate here, the F expression, which is referring here to the field values, this performs database operations. So it avoids um, database pool and memory storage. So the F object generates an an encapsulated SQL expression, which then can be run and the action can then be performed by the database. Okay, so I realize that I'm repeating myself a lot here potentially. So let's just further solidify this. So Django uses the F object to generate an SQL expression. And this, subscri uh, this describes an operation at a database level, which then can be formed at, performed at a database level. So when Django finds this F expression, it overrides the standard Python operators and it creates, like I, I said, an encapsulated SQL expression, which then can be executed on the database. So obviously here, the expression that will be generated would be an increment in the database field, total votes um, by one. In our example, it's still the case that we're utilizing two queries, the get and the save. So let's look how we could potentially use F expressions to further reduce the amount of queries that we run. So we can further reduce 
the amount of queries by using F expressions and for example, update. So here's an example that can be used on a query set of object instances. So you can see here we're using objects and filter ID by one, obtaining one item from the database and then performing an update utilizing F expressions, we then create the increment to the total vote field. So take for example, when we're looping through data and creating changes to data in the database. So this is ultimately going to be potentially a lot quicker than pulling data out of a database, creating or performing the operation and then returning the data. Using the F expressions here, we can use to, to loop through the data and update the data from the back end, the database. So here we have votes, objects all, and then we run, run the updates and total vote plus one. So just a, an example of utilizing the F expressions on multiple instances. So here's an example of using the F expressions uh, with filters. So we can compare two fields of the same model using the F expression. So in this example, the instances of the F expression act as a reference to the model field within the query. So these references can then be used in a query filters to compare the values of the two different fields on the same model instance. So to summarize then, at I guess a high level, the F expressions allow us to offload the work to the database. It can help us reduce the number of queries and also helps to avoid the race conditions. So the race condition in database terms, imagine you have a piece of software where two or more users or Python threads execute code. So you now have two users extracting data from the database. So in the database, we have X equals one and Y equals two. So just imagine there's two fields, X and Y, and they represent those values. So user one or thread one updates the data and in the data in the database now is X equals two and Y equals four. So the problem is that the user two or thread two also extracted the data from the database when user one did. So they also have in their software X equals one and Y equals two. So when they perform updates on the database, they now change the database X and Y to the values based upon their computation. So thread two's computation. So X and Y now equals three and five. So you lose the work done by the first thread. So by using the F expressions, we allow the database to do the computation rather than Python. The database updates the field values and thus avoids the race condition. So it just potentially makes your database a little bit more robust and helps you protect against these race conditions. And just as a final note, once you've utilized the F expression within your code, you may then want to access the saved values. So here we can utilize the vote.refresh from DB to perform that action. So hopefully this overview of F expressions in Django was useful. If you liked this tutorial and you want more, then please let me know. I'm happy to cover anything or any topics that you want covering. If you don't like it, then I do apologize. I hope to do better next time. Thank you very much.